Hey, First Church, Chris Metcalf here, and I want to welcome you to our new sermon series, The Cross. Over the next five weeks, we will be looking at different people that either witnessed or interacted with Jesus in the final hours of his earthly life leading up to his death on the cross. Jesus interacted with many different people from different walks of life. However, he found a way to relate and connect with all of them. So our hope for this series is you will connect with Jesus through the Holy Spirit in new and exciting ways as we approach Resurrection Sunday. This week, we'll begin our series with Simon of Cyrene, the man who famously helped Jesus carry his cross on the road to Golgotha. Although Simon of Cyrene is mentioned in each of the Synoptic Gospels, Matthew, Mark, and Luke, each Gospel writer only mentions him in passing in one verse. We read about him in no other places throughout Scripture. And as well known as Simon's name and story is, we really don't know that much about him. Now, there are several things that are possible, perhaps even probable, about the life of Simon of Cyrene, but there are a few things we know for sure. For example, it's possible, maybe even probable, that Simon became a Christ follower later in his life. It could be he was well-known and highly respected in many Christian communities, which would explain why the Gospel writers provide no other details about him, because the original audiences already knew him very well. It's also possible Simon's sons, Alexander and Rufus, played important roles in the early church as well. Now, Mark is the only Gospel writer that mentions Simon's sons, and many scholars think Mark wrote his Gospel to churches in and around Rome. And the Apostle Paul, at the end of his letter to the Romans, greets a man named Rufus. Perhaps the same Rufus, son of Simon, mentioned by Mark. Now, despite there being many unknowns, there are several things we know about Simon from the Scriptures. We know he was from the city of Cyrene, located on the northern coast of Africa in what is now present-day Libya. We know that whether he was a Gentile or a Jew... He was devout in his Jewish faith because he made the 1,500-mile pilgrimage to Jerusalem for Passover. We also know that whether he was late and just arriving in Jerusalem from Cyrene for Passover or he was returning to the city from his temporary residence in the countryside, he came face to face with the Lord Jesus Christ. We also know that Jesus was in horrible physical condition at this time. He had already received 39 lashes from the Roland flagellum, a whip expertly designed to tear and rip flesh from the body. So the pain, the blood loss, the dehydration, the exhaustion that Christ was experiencing probably made it impossible for him to carry the cross any further. However, we know that when the son was weak, the father brought a man named Simon of Cyrene to a specific location at a specific time to encounter a specific person to carry out a specific task. It wasn't fate, it wasn't the universe of the stars aligning just right, it wasn't coincidence, and it wasn't just Simon's luck of the draw that accounted for their paths intersecting. It was the sovereign hand of God, guiding, directing, and influencing events and behaviors in ways we probably couldn't even begin to comprehend to guarantee his son was provided for in his hour of need. This is an example of God's providence or his providential provision. Big word, but it just means that God is unceasingly active. He is always working to ensure his will is accomplished and his people are provided for. God knows all things. He knows where we're going to go. He knows what we're going to need. He knows when we're going to need it. He knows the times in advance we will be in a bind and need financial relief. He knows in advance when we will struggle with our sense of purpose and we will need him to provide direction. He knows in advance when we will feel alone and we need a friend or another source of comfort. He knows in advance when all of life will hit us at once and we will convince ourselves we don't have the strength to take another step forward. But all the while he is guiding and directing and influencing the world around us in ways we cannot comprehend so that at that exact right moment, what we need will be provided. God knew Jesus' circumstances. God knew Jesus would reach a point on the road to Golgotha when he would need help carrying the cross. So he made sure in that exact moment, in the exact spot, Simon of Cyrene was there. 
and so it will be with you. God knows you. He knows what's going on inside of you and all around you, and he loves you. He loves you so much that he is guiding and directing and influencing the world around you in ways you cannot comprehend to provide you with exactly what you will need when you need it. And maybe God is planning to use you like he used Simon of Cyrene to provide for the need of another. So keep your eyes open because God works for and uses us in mysterious and miraculous ways. I'll see you next week.